It was this is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. Bronny James. Yep. Shout out to Bronny. Bronny, uh, they sent him to the G League, man. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. We all knew it was going to happen, right? Yeah. I, I don't think a lot of us are surprised. I think some of us may be surprised it was so soon. But then yeah. again, were they like uh, 15, 20 games in now? Uh, I don't even think it's 15 or 20. No, yeah. It's yeah. like 10. Yeah, because I yeah. think the, um, yeah, the what their name is, the Cavs, they 9-0. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the, um, I'm not sure if it was J.J. Redick or Rob Palenka who mm-hmm. they said after the current road trip. They was gonna send Brownie to the G League. Oh, okay, that okay. Make no sense to me, but not in my opinion, right? It, it really come down to uh, the marketing because I think it's so marketable to uh, keep him there because there's that constant. That's a fact. Uh, dumb stat that they keep putting up: yeah, Brownie James and I LeBron know. James is the only father son yeah, duo. That's to, a fact. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, I think that. Versus certain teams, he could thrive, and they already know they're going to win. So, they, like, if they play in the 76ers, yeah. put him in there for, what, about 15 minutes? So, like, let him get some burn. Let's see how, how things turn out. Good. So, you, you think it would have better develop him as if he if he were to play a full season in the G League or just play his first full season in the NBA? I'm going to give you my honest opinion. <laughs> I think he should have stayed in college a little longer. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. I think that I, I I disagree. I don't think he ready for the. I don't even think he ready for the G League. I think if he stayed in college, mm-hmm. I think it would have proved to everybody that he is not NBA worthy. Now, a lot of people like he's not. Some people like I mean, he might have potential and stuff. I think the the longer he stayed in college, the clearer and clearer it would have been. How old is he? He like nineteen now. Yeah, man. I think yeah. that another year wouldn't have hurt, and then a, another year after that still wouldn't have been that bad. Like it would have been pre- preparing himself because the the NBA is a tremendous difference from college. It it, it shows when yeah, it's you get way yeah faster. yeah you you get the best player in college that's the number he number one over everybody, and then you come to the league and. All he can get is rookie of the year. Yeah, and, you know, the, every now and then you might get one that might be able to get a, a um a little extra little stat. But yeah, you want to say on average the number one pick might be top. You want to say anyway between forty and the sixty the best player. In the mm-hmm. league. Yeah. But w- with that being said, though, right? If he's a junior mm-hmm. and he's averaging six points a game, six rebounds, six assists, do you say let's draft him? <laughs> That's why I think he should no, stay no, in no. college. But I think that there was, I think that there's still like with some room for growth, and that, that I think in the fact that he came out, it, it the room for growth just wasn't there no more. Now it's you here now. <coughs> You're not. It, it's not really a whole lot of room to grow because nowhere in the NBA is he gonna get a lot of minutes in a G League. He might get a little more minutes, but I don't think he's gonna start. Yeah, he shouldn't. So. Yeah, and then yeah, in college was he? He was starting in college, right? I don't even think he was. Oh honest. dang! Yeah, I don't know. So, but yeah, if he wasn't starting in college, then, yeah. I don't think he was starting. Oh, yeah, I I think his peak would be like like a lesser version of Michael Porter Jr. And that's one of my favorite players. I was thinking, well, I mean, he would obviously have to develop a shot, and then this person wouldn't be a thing. But his defense is fairly good, right? Yeah. What What do you think a player that most people know, what do you think would be his peak? Oh, whenever he go out, he would be mentioning the same breakfast that that person. You ready for this? I was about to say it a couple seconds ago. You ready for this? Go ahead. Be honest. Tony Allen. Tony Allen? Yeah. But, wait, because I want to add this. That's my point in saying he should have stayed in college another year and then eased his way into the NBA, even if he did still go to the G League. I feel like his potential would have been higher because he spent more time getting more hours in, in the practice Yeah, part. I see what you're saying. And then he would have been yeah. better enough to, you know, at least get closer to the level. That I think that him coming out, everybody know 
you know exactly what happened. Yeah, LeBron wanted him, and it, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it was as simple as that. None of it came down to his play, but I think some of his play would have started to play some kind of a factor if he spent a little more time on that side building himself to the potential that he could be because he is athletic. He just not good. Yeah. Um, Enough. When we say he could athletic, beat me probably, but yeah, as far as athleticism goes, he's not. If I'm comparing him to other NBA players, no, but he, see, yeah, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying he athletic Even enough. Even in the uh, yeah. G League, though, because the G League got some, some yeah. ballers. Yeah, down there. I didn't see people doing so, 360 windmills yeah, and all kinds of stuff yeah. in the G League. If I had to, I would say, and I'm not trying to compare him to this player as far as play style, mm-hmm. but I think his peak would be Derek Fisher. That'd if he developed his, the shot, though, right? That'd be his peak. Now, I'm not even saying play style. I mean, Derek Fisher was a fan favorite. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Derek Fisher contributed. Um, no, nobody looked to Derek Fisher to actually win a game. Mm-hmm. It was like, hey, help the uh, team. Yeah. And yeah. Derek Fisher would be, he is one of the more remembered role players. Yeah. I think that would be Bronny's peak. He would be a... More of a re- 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 member role player. Like uh, the whole that's, Tony Allen thing. Yeah. I think that that fits his play style. But yeah, I think more I people remember Fisher over Tony Allen. For sure, for sure. And I think more people are going to remember Bronny James. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah, is. yeah. I can agree I would say that. best case, man. If he ever, if he ever averaged... If he, ever, if he ever averaged 15 points in the NBA trial. Yeah. But... It'll be impressive. Dog. I mean that one game in preseason. I think he had dropped seventeen, right? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think that was I. I uh, shared it and said finally. Yeah, but because I, I he did because I did. I am rooting for him. That's a fact. I want him to be good. I fact. want him to be good enough. You know, he don't got to be the <coughs> best player. Yeah. in the league, he don't got to be the best player on his team. I just want him to be good enough. That's you know what I'm fact. saying? Yeah. But yeah. the truth of the matter is, it ain't looking like it's gonna be that way. Yeah, I don't think he gonna ever average double digit uh, points. Yeah, it ain't looking that way at all. But some people might say he's a defensive player, but I mm-hmm. don't think he's gonna ever be in the top five for defensive player. Yeah, game, yeah, so. yeah. Which that that's what I did notice. Though. I did you know, notice see, that you know, he got hustle and tenacity on defense. The bad thing about it though, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Talk about it. The media hyped this man up. Yeah. They, well. Not only the media, the Look, fans too, and they still hyping them up. Good. Yeah, it, <laughs> you got uh, Kenyon Martin Jr. Mm-hmm. Right? You got uh, Gary Payton the uh, second. Yep, yep. Them boys came in the draft, no expectations. Yep. Nobody hyped and look them up. At them. They was hoopers. I feel like with Bronny James, it's like I don't think he was dealt a fair hand, and it's not his fault. No, it's not. Because he not. never came out there and said, "Yeah, I'm." Good enough to go to, to, yeah. to the league. He yeah. said, "I work." I actually, this. yeah, yeah. I actually like what he said when he said that. Uh, it was it's his dream. Yeah, not to say you know he's entitled to it or deserves it. He said he just said it was a dream. Yeah, it, it, it sucks for him though. It does. It does. It, it does. sucks for him, man. Hey, I'm rooting for him still though. But I am gonna give him some jokes right here though. Go ahead. Oh shoot! <laughs> I got this video. I hope it's this true. is LeBron talking to the Lakers organization as they come in to tell Bronny to go to the G League. Give me a second to say goodbye to the kid. Take a second. You don't want me here anymore? That's not it, pal. You just gotta go away for a little while. I don't wanna go. <laughs> I know you don't. I know, but you have to. And you're gonna be okay, all right? Please don't make me go. That was a sad well, moment. I don't know what else to do? Just go. Class. You gotta go. You gotta go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Yeah, that movie is a classic. It is, yeah. It is. Do you uh know uh you ever heard of the sweet life of Zack and Cody? Yeah. You know that that's I yeah, I figured out years after yeah. probably 2016 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Good. <sighs> that's a great movie, bro. I relate. I want my own at suit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you say I wipe my own it. I thought he said I want. I'll, I'll wipe because uh, 
earlier oh, in the movie, okay, yeah, he was yeah, pooping, yeah. and then he uh, always asked Adam Sandler to wipe for him. I do that now, so yeah. He said, "Now nah, you gotta start wiping your own ass around here." And then, yeah, yeah. shout out to uh, uh, shout out to Bronny and Bryce, though, man. Yeah, but that that was a good little thing that whoever put together there yeah, it was it was pretty right. funny. It was pretty funny. That's a fact. But yeah, drop down in the comments, man. Let us know what y'all think about Bronny James and what's going to happen. And do y'all think he going to ever be? Because I think that they said he's still going to be able to play home games or something like that. It, it was so, He got some kind of little thing. But but yeah, I mean, obviously it all. He don't deserve it. But go ahead. He don't. But we rooting for him, though, right? That's a fact. We got to say I that. Want, I want him to have 30. <laughs> yeah. But we both know. Yeah. He's not. But yeah. Let us know.